Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and this is day two of VEDA, yes, and we're going to talk about acne today. So you guys did really good at asking questions and giving me ideas for things I can talk about, so good job! The first thing we're going to talk about is that Sean says he is having trouble with acne, and he wanted to know if I could make a video addressing treatment and coping with it. Well, yes, yes I can. So acne sucks, like, really, really bad. I actually made a full-length vlog video that I'll put a link to over here if you want to watch that. Um, where I like take off all my makeup and talk about how acne makes you feel ugly. But let's talk about actually treating it and coping with it today. So I don't suffer from acne to the extreme that I did when I was in high school. It was pretty bad then. Um, definitely not as bad as it could have been. I was able to kind of cover it up with a good amount of concealer. Um, and I didn't have to do like a full-on foundation face or anything like that to feel comfortable in my skin But it was still something that was annoying and always there and as an adult I mostly get acne from just like hormonal kind of flare-ups because being a girl sucks sometimes, you know but While you're in the throes of hormones and crazy face acne or even just body acne in general It can suck and so what do you do about it? Something that your mother has probably always told you it's wash your face a lot Definitely wash your face before you go to bed to get all of the gunk that just builds up over the day like like oil and sweat and just like germs and everything it really helps to wash it before you go to sleep so your skin can kind of like breathe and repair overnight I definitely wash my face in the morning and in the evening um, and that's something that I just would say anybody should probably do but um, if you're definitely suffering from a lot of acne then maybe even three four times a day like when you come home from school or work um, that's also a good time to just kind of like wash the oil and gross stuff off your face. And that's just soap and water washing. Now, you can also get the acne washes that there are lots of options out there for you. I'm actually a big proponent of Proactive. I was always like, that's just the brand that everybody says and it doesn't really work. But for me and my skin, it actually does work. So if you wanna try that out, then try it. I also use Stridex um, acne like wipes. It's full of salicylic acid. That's something that I do like right before I go to sleep that kind of gets all that extra oil off my face. Um, and tends to kind of dry it out overnight and that's really helpful. Something else that people don't realize is helpful is moisturizing your face. Sometimes you think, oh, my face is so oily, I don't wanna add more moisture to it by putting a lotion on it. But you can actually get acne from having too dry of a face. So like yesterday, I didn't have my lotion with me, I didn't put any on, and I just felt, my face felt so gross. It felt oily, but at the same time, it was like dry and peeling, and that's simply because I didn't put lotion on just once that morning. Generally, the best advice that you can take for acne and skin care treatment is to find what works for you, to try out a lot of different products, um, a lot of different times of washing your face, um, and just see what works best. It's taken me years of figuring out what works best for me, and it's not always been the same thing. Sometimes, you know, this particular set of products and this number of times washing my face a day will be perfect and wonderful, and my face will get better, but then a few months later, it'll just freak out again, and I'm like, well, I had a system, why isn't the system working? That's super frustrating, but basically you just have to go back to the drawing board, try some new things, and eventually you'll figure out what works for your face then too. Also, something that I struggle with is not picking at your acne. I have a nervous habit of like scratching my chin or like around my eyebrows where I'll get acne here and here um, and especially in my nose too and it'll be a nervous habit to just like start scratching here and the next thing I know I've like made it really inflamed and it's like I can't cover it up with makeup and I'm just <laughs> as far as coping with having a lot of acne goes it's going to probably be kind of uncomfortable until you feel like something has started working. But up until that point, you just kind of have to accept that this is the way that your face or your body or wherever the acne is, is going to look. And you know, if you're a girl, you can use makeup. Even if you're a guy, like buy some concealer and kind of like dot it on and no one's really going to care. Basically, if it makes you feel better to cover it up, then it's all about how you are feeling. And who cares if somebody's like, oh, are you wearing makeup? It's like, yes, yes I am, because I don't want the whole world to see my volcano of acne on my face. But eventually, if you're persistent with what you are treating your acne with, whether it's washing your face, or using an over-the-counter product, or going to a doctor and getting a prescription product to use, something eventually is going to work for you as long as you keep going at it and you're gonna feel better about yourself. But I would say definitely don't get bogged down with the idea that like you're the only person that has acne because everyone does. Uh, you're, if you don't have acne, you're extremely lucky and I don't know how that works for you, but good job. 
but for everyone else like me and the rest of the world we all do have acne and it's just a part of life a part of growing up um and you know washing your face that's that's really the big thing wash your face. So there we go. There's some thoughts on treating and coping with acne. I hope that helps Sean. And if anybody else has some things they want to know about or questions or ideas, remember to put them down in the comments. Plus remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>